In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front brake fluid on a 2008 Harley Davidson Road Glide. Uh, first thing you want to do is get the bike in a position so that the um, reservoir here is, is, is level so that uh, when you remove this uh, brake fluid reservoir cap, the brake fluid doesn't spill out. Um, on some bikes, you can leave it on the jiffy stand, turn the handlebar all the way to the left, and that will work. Uh, but on this bike, I've actually got it on a stand, so I'm just going to leave it in this position and keep the, keep the steering straight. Uh, on this bike there's a single brake line that leaves the uh, master cylinder here uh, when it goes down here when it gets down where the uh, steering stem is it, it splits in two and uh, it's got two lines that one goes to a caliper on each side of the wheel um, it's got two brake discs so I'm gonna have to deal with two calipers you can see it here on the other side and you can see I've added uh, painter's tape on the fender because you don't want brake fluid to get on any painted or chrome surfaces because um, the stuff will ruin ruin paint. So you got to be real careful with that. Because brake fluid is so damaging to painted and chrome surfaces, you want to uh, cover up anything that you feel um, has a chance of getting brake fluid on. So I'm going to take some plastic and cover up the tank and uh, part of this uh, fairing. And then just to help hold the plastic down, I'm going to take a fender cover and place it over the tank. Now you're ready to remove the uh, brake fluid reservoir. Um, always keep extra rags around to clean up any brake fluid that might spill. Uh, you can also, um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to take a, a rag and wrap it around the um, this uh, metal casting just to catch any brake fluid um, but I'm just going to be real careful and have a rag handy and, and spill, uh, wipe up any spills. Remove the uh, cover and underneath the cover is a rubber diaphragm that you need to remove. Here is the uh, front brake fluid reservoir. If you, uh, if the uh, relief valve for the uh, master cylinder is not plugged up and all the components in the master cylinder are working correctly, when you press on the uh, brake lever, uh, it's got to be kind of hard but not too hard otherwise it will spit brake fluid back out of the, the reservoir. But uh, you can see it, it, it squirts it back up towards the surface and it will upset the surface of the brake fluid. And if it's doing that, then that relief port is not plugged up, and uh, it's an indication that uh, the master cylinder components are functioning correctly. Now I'm ready to uh, remove all the brake fluid uh, from the front brake system. I'm going to be using this uh, Mighty Vac uh, vacuum pump to, to, to uh, create a vacuum and remove all the brake fluid. Uh, this pump is connected to a reservoir, which is going to connect, uh, collect all the uh, old brake fluid. Then I got another line coming out of the uh, reservoir, which I'm going to connect to the um, caliper uh, uh, brake bleeder valve. Uh, I'm going to be doing the left caliper first, remove all the brake fluid, and then switch over and do the right caliper. Um, I'm going to be putting about a 10 HG vacuum on this pump. I'm not going to go any higher than that. That should be enough to uh, remove all the brake fluid. This is my uh, left front brake caliper. This is my uh, uh, brake bleeder valve. Uh, it's got this rubber cover. You need to remove that. Set that aside. Then take your um, take your uh, line from your vacuum pump. And uh, first, thing I'm going to put the wrench on here so I can loosen it, and then connect this to your the line from your vacuum pump to your bleeder valve, and then uh, put a 10 hg vacuum on the pump. And once you got that, then open up the uh, bleeder valve. Be careful about turning your steering because you don't want to, uh, to spill any of the brake fluid out of the reservoir. And you can see it coming out here. I'm going to let this uh, 
let this go until it starts sucking air. You can see here when it gets to the end, when you start to get all the brake fluid out, it'll start sucking air and you'll see the bubbles come out and then you know you've pretty much cleaned all the brake fluid out of the line. When you got all the brake fluid out, uh, tighten up the uh, bleeder valve and then you're ready to remove this line. But before you remove the line, make sure you've got a, a, a vacuum on the, uh, on the line. So pump up your, uh, your vacuum pump and then once you've got a vacuum, uh, remove the line and it, will, it, it prevents any brake fluid from coming out of the line when you remove it. Now I'm going to repeat the process on the uh, right side of the, uh, the, on the right caliper. I'm going to remove this rubber cover for the uh, brake uh, bleeder valve. And uh, take my wrench, get it into position. And attach my um, hose from my vacuum pump. and get about 10 HG vacuum on the pump and open up the bleeder valve and uh, just keep a vacuum until it's all drained out and that didn't take long because uh, most of the fluid came out when we did the other side now you can close the bleeder valve and before you remove the hose, remember to uh, get a vacuum on the vacuum pump. And while you've got a vacuum going, uh, remove the uh, hose. And uh, also make sure if you know if you spill anything, make sure you wipe it up. Here is the uh, uh, front brake fluid reservoir after all the old brake fluid's been removed. Um, so now I'm ready to add new brake fluid. Harley Davidson recommends using DOT4. So I'm going to be putting in DOT4 brake fluid and uh, always use a uh, unopened uh, sealed container because brake fluid is hygroscopic which means that it, uh, it's like a sponge for water, it just absorbs water and that's another reason why your brake fluid should be changed at least every two years or whenever your manufacturer uh, recommends because uh, water in, in your uh, brake fluid will um, cause corrosion and brake failure. So go ahead and um, fill up the reservoir here to about right there now I'm ready to uh, I'm going to use that vacuum pump to uh, vacuum this new uh, brake fluid through the line um, there's a max mark right here I don't know if you can see I'll try and zoom in on that that's uh, the maximum uh, level for the brake fluid in this reservoir so uh, with the uh, front brake fluid reservoir filled with new brake fluid, now I'm ready to uh, vacuum uh, brake fluid through the, this new brake fluid through the front brake system. Um, I'm going to start with the left front brake caliper. I'm going to attach my vacuum pump, vacuum this new fluid uh, through the system. And um, I've got to constantly keep, keep a vacuum on the vacuum pump, and I've got to constantly keep coming back to this reservoir and make sure that it's uh, got brake fluid in it because if I let it uh, empty out it will introduce air into the system I've got to start all over so I'm going to constantly be going back and forth. So now we're back at the uh, the left brake caliper. I already got the cap off of the uh, front brake bleeder screw when I took all the old brake fluid out. Uh, I'm going to reattach my my 3 8 wrench to open up this bleeder valve and uh, I'm going to attach my uh, vacuum hose from my vacuum pump and I'm going to put a 10 HG vacuum on the vacuum pump and then I'm going to open up the bleeder screw or bleeder valve. Here's my vacuum pump. I got to constantly keep this keep a vacuum going um, and then go back up here and check my reservoir and make sure that I never empty out a brake fluid
When you see fluid, uh, clear fluid coming out of the uh, brake line with no air bubbles, uh, you know you've um, you're done. You've got uh, you've got all the air out of the line, and you've you've brought all the uh, new brake fluid through the brake system. So you can close up your bleeder valve. Make sure you have a vacuum on your vacuum pump, and then uh, pull the uh, hose off. With the uh, left front brake caliper done, we're ready to move to the uh, right front brake caliper. Before you do that though, make sure your, your reservoir is full of brake fluid. Now I'm going to repeat the process on the right front brake caliper. Uh, attach your wrench. Uh, attach your hose from your vacuum pump. Put about a 10 HG vacuum on your pump. and open up the uh, bleeder valve. Now I've got to constantly be going back and forth and making sure that the uh, reservoir doesn't empty out. You can see that I've already got clear fluid coming out of this caliper, so uh, it didn't take much to empty out all the air and bring that new fluid through. So I'm ready to um, close this bleeder valve. Uh, with the bleeder valve closed, um, make sure you got a vacuum on the uh, vacuum pump and you can remove the the vacuum hose. When you're done uh, vacuuming the new brake fluid through the uh, front brake system, uh, make sure your your bleeder valves are tight and reinstall your these rubber caps. And then um, be sure and wipe up any uh, any drops or any brake fluid that may have spilled out, which I don't think I spilled anything out on this one. Now you can come back up to your uh, brake fluid reservoir. Uh, make sure it's full of brake fluid. Uh, you can operate your brake, pull, the, pull your brake lever in, uh, do it a few times. You may have some air bubbles that got caught in the master cylinder come out, but uh, it will clear up and it won't affect the performance of the brakes. You should have a pretty firm, pretty firm brake lever. Now I'm ready to uh, reinstall the brake fluid reservoir diaphragm and cap. Uh, here's the diaphragm. Make sure it's still flexible and isn't cracked anywhere. Um, it's important that this is in good working order because it, it creates a barrier between the brake fluid and the atmosphere and it keeps water out of the, the uh, brake fluid and it also uh, provides a vent for the uh, brake fluid. So make sure it's still flexible, not cracked. Uh, when you pull this out of the uh, reservoir, it, can, uh, it will kind of follow the brake fluid when it lowers in the, in the reservoir and when you remove it sometimes they're kind of like this so make sure it's back in its original position which is uh, like this and then you can reinstall it and now it can uh, reinstall the cap and tighten it down Uh, one thing I forgot to mention when I at the beginning of this video, before you start um, taking anything apart on your brake system, make sure that the area is clean of dirt and uh, dust and that type of thing, because you don't want that stuff getting inside the uh, the brake system. Once you got everything back together, uh, just make sure you clean up all the uh, old brake fluid off of your painted surfaces and chrome finishes. Um, I like to take a rag and spray brake cleaner on it and wipe this stuff down. And uh, if you got any uh, brake brake fluid on your uh, calipers, you can just spray the uh, uh, brake cleaner directly on that and get all that uh, old brake fluid up because it will damage painted and chrome surfaces. Um, and then take the bike out, you know, take it easy and just verify that the brake system is working before you uh, you start riding hard. So 
Um, yeah, uh, if you got any questions, uh, just leave it in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer it. And uh, um, yeah, go out, ride hard, and uh, thanks for watching my videos.